Welcome to, to How to Learn Squares on Twin Space Time. If you saw the Mask Kangaroo book video on with a girl that is my sister and I am her brother and we're twins and I am going to show you how to do to know a next square. So a number a square is a number multiplied by itself. So like two times two is a square. So is three times two a square is three times nine a square? The answer is no, because those aren't the same numbers. So the trick is Let's say the square I'm doing is 19. So what I have to do is try and figure out how to solve 19 times 19. To do that, I'm going to show you a very good trick. So. So first, you have the number right before 19, 18. Now, you plus it with 19, which is what we're adding here, and then also add it, add it with a 18 square. If you don't know 18 squared, use the same trick over and over and over again, and you get to a number you know. So, so 18 plus 19 plus 18 squared. What's 18 squared again? Oh yeah, 324. The 18 squared is basically 324. So 324 is 18 squared. So 18 plus 19 plus 324 is what I'm going to say now. So 18 plus 19, let's figure that out. So we know that 8 plus 9 is 17. Write a 7 and then the 10 goes into the 10th place. So basically, we're going to add 1 plus 1 plus 1. And that's easy, that's 3. So, eh. so 3 goes over here. 18 plus 9, 19 is 37. Let's erase this here. So now we need, now know that, that this is 37. So, all we have to do now is add 37 with 324. Let's see. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Plus tens and ones. So, as you see, this is what we have to do. 7 plus 4 is... If you don't know, instead, try adding 7 plus 3, which is 10. And 10 plus 1 is 11. So 4 plus 7 is 11. Now, we don't carry it to the hundreds, because it's a 10. So, the 10 goes over here. Hint. If you're stuck, if the two numbers here add up, to let's say 20 you instead carry a 2 because if there are two tens why would you only carry a 1 that makes no sense so that's why you have to carry a 2 that's I'm just saying that because that's not what we're exactly doing and so let's see so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 because 3 plus 2 it's five. Five plus one, six. So six goes over here. And 
And since 6 isn't higher than 10, we don't carry anything. So it's just free left. So we just write free. So 19 square is 361. That, so that was a uh, 19. That's big. So instead, let's say we add just a minute here. Okay, let's see. Now we'll just take this here. Hey, Dora, where is that? Hey, Morgan. Okay, now we, we, the car, I killed off the call of the dust. Now let's see. Instead, since that was a band number, oh, I just said that. Instead, let's do something like, hmm, probably six. Or, or maybe four. Probably six. So six times six. Now let's do. So if you know what five times five is, duh, 25. Because five, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's five. So let's say, so and five times five is 25. Let's say that. So now we know it's 25. So instead of saying 5 times 5, let's say now I'm going to write a big 25 here. And now, so with this 25, we're going to add it. I mean, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to add it with 5 and 6. 25 plus 5 plus 6. So if you're a first grader or second grader, this you this is what you will need to know. Also maybe third graders or kindergarten, I don't know. So now my dad taught me this trick. And now, so do you start with the higher or lower? Well, this is what my teacher taught me. Instead of starting with five and counting Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, blah, 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 blah. Instead, we can just do 25, 30. Done. Now it's only two. And, and instead, you have to do all, to, all that. So now we know that this isn't 25 plus 5. Now we know this is 30. 30 plus 6. That's easy. That is... Racist. Oh no, that's not, it's not 306. Let me just say that. Is 36. So 36 is 6 multiplied by 6. Now I just told you what, well, uh, 6 square is, it's 36. Now if I say the square root, of 36 it's going to be 6. Why? Because square roots are the opposite of squares. Squares is a number times itself to get something and the square root is what you have and you want to know what makes it. So if I say now we just learned what it's square. What's the square root of 36? You'll instantly know that the square root of 36 will be 6. This is what it looks like. We write a tech mark and, and half a box. And we write 36 under the box. And then we write equals 6. Why? Because the square root, because 6 times itself is 36. The square root of 36 is 6. So like, subscribe to our channel. Like, subscribe, and share in our channel. And also, you can learn this, this also by yourself or also at school. And guess what? 